All right, I think I have everything in place. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal. I'll go to the advent. It is 16 of December, 1 6. We're like, what, day four already? Like, it's, yeah, we're day four. You can see it there in the file like line. But, whoa, but we're also kind of like, you know, we're past the midway of the month. It's just, it's a weird, it's a weird concept. Today's Quadro Day. And as you can see on Quadro Day, we are on a computer. All right, and uh, I took liberty of opening up letter dot docs, but uh, I didn't read it. So right here, it's Advent Letter Volume Five. It's the five time you've sent something like that, is it? Hey, Rao. Merry Christmas, man! I can't believe it's been the literal decade since I found your channel. It's always crazy to think about the passage of time and such. Yes, I'm still not the best at expressing myself. How can you tell? My life's actually getting better, little by little. I still have that job I was complaining about, but the conditions are getting better and I'm making more money, and I'm even making new friends. Uh, so that's nice. I still want a better job, and now it's starting to feel like less of an impossibility. I've been connecting a lot more with my internet friends, which is nice, but it always gets me down when they're feeling bad and I can't help. Boy, have I been there a lot. I do what I can, it's all I can do, but sometimes it doesn't feel like enough. I also think I found someone I love. We're still figuring everything out, but I do love him and I want the best for him. So that's nice. That does sound nice. Congrats! Hey, if you're figuring things out, that means they're aware too, so you know that's even better. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. Time for your gifts. From the guy who got you music and art, it's music and art simultaneously. LOL, or lol, depending on your generation. Yeah, I'm still not 100% sure about your taste in music. So I got you some weird stuff. It's some stuff that I really like and wanted to share. I honestly would have gotten more, but I guess I don't want to overwhelm you. <laughs> Might sound weird to say, but I do appreciate that. Plus, art is expensive. That is true, but it's... I don't want to say it's good that it gets expensive, but there's a reason it's expensive. It's hard to make a living as an artist. Uh, sorry, it's all good. Do not apologize. You are not allowed to apologize about that. Thou my love, quadro slash man of men. Post scriptum, I was only able to get a sketch from one artist because she's been rather unwell lately. That's okay. It is understandable. And so this explains why we got art, music, and second part because it was too much to send over Discord. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh. I didn't expect uh, Aricel material. That is rare. So this is the one that's only a sketch. I mean, hey. We get where they were, they were going. We got a construction. We got the torso. It's going to uh, blossom into a complete image. And this one, though, we do have a finish, so here's... I am digging the fluidity of these lines, I have to say. Like, there's something about the 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 ease of the main lines. Oh, you can't see my cursor. Uh, but, like, the, the cloak, for example. Like, very simple lines. But, like, like it's just... It's confidence. It's confidence portrayed on canvas. It looks really, so good. This is, uh, no, honestly, yeah, the artists that did this, uh, they know what they're doing. Here we get the finished version. Yeah, all cleaned up. So, see, the all cleaned up version, it's a lot easier to kind of sell, sort of, like, tell what is. Uh, though, uh, I, I miss, I miss, I, I miss the fluidity of the sketchiness. The ideal version, I feel, would be a combination of the two. Mind you, you know, it's important to remember... That as an artist, my, 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 what will interest me sometimes is not maybe what, yeah, you would expect. But no thank you though, like honestly, it's so rare I see Ericel things. And that's normal, I think. Uh, you know, there's not a huge overlap between uh, the LP crowd and, you know, once I used to do like uh, webcomic work for fun. Like I just, uh, I worked on ATXS for a while. And then we moved on to uh, Ericel, which was a lot of fun, very different. But at some point, I burnt out and I never recovered. <laughs> but uh, but for real though, thank you. Like that's just that is a surprise. That is a shocking surprise in the best way. 
And it looks, look, forget what you're seeing here. I accidentally closed this when I wasn't supposed to. Spoiler, these people are around. Uh, music. I could have just edited all that out. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, so you mentioned music. So I'm not going to play this because that's too dangerous in terms of I am making a video for people to see. But at the very least, oh, so you click on that. It says it's working on it. Oh, it, especially if they're all entirely albums. These are albums. Uh, so Boulders from Roy Wood, Emperor Tomato Ketchup from Stereolab, the Best of for Supergrass, Message from the Country from The Move, Strangers in a Night by UFO or UFO probably. And then there's a second part. There's what's that? What's going on here? Working on it. It's working. <laughs> I guess that is a playlist in and of itself. Okay. Oh, jeez, this is still a lot. I'm just gonna say it. This is a lot. Then we got album folder. Finally. That's my favorite word. So, Egg Bum, yeah, see my can. Future Days by Can. Fish Out of Water by Chris Squire. And Once Upon a Time, but written weird by John Lennon. That is an eclectic mix, I will say. <laughs> and I appreciate it. And it's like you said, like you, you do not have a bead on my taste. Good. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, yeah, I will be sticking an ear inside all of that at a later point today. Uh, it's just, yeah, like I said, like one, it's a lot to go through in video. And also, it is unsafe, especially with some of the names in there. Well, thank you. Like, 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 this is an appreciation of sort of like of the of your selection process, and see what's in there. And uh, looking forward to it. Thank you, thank you for putting this all up together for me, and thank you for the art. And I do mean it. And uh, awkward end is an awkward end. Except we got an ambush. It is time for Philby's annual ambush. It happens every year. It's that time of year again. I didn't click ahead of time or anything. I just, uh, just you know what? We're going to read it when it happens. Merry Christmas, cow cow. It's a yearly tradition for me, so here I am boosting myself in once again. Remember when these used to be called boosts? I don't know when that changed. <laughs> Sorry to say, 2023 is the year I've almost completely falling off of watching your videos. Although, I did enjoy the Messenger and the Cuphead DLC. Mostly due to the fact it's also the year I've settled into a full-time job for the first time in my life. Wow! Congratulations, Philby! But your videos are still a comforting presence in my YouTube subscription. I will never stop proudly supporting you on Patapon. I've been subscribed to you for 15 years at this point. That's amazing. It hit me that ever since streaming became the big thing, a Let's Plays, capital L, capital P, is no longer seen as the quick and easy way to build an audience. People still doing LP are the ones who actually care about showing off games to their fullest, who put care and effort into every single video, and I can't think of anyone that does it better than Chip Cheesem. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's really something special. They're still doing Let's Plays, and your videos are better than ever. Well, thank you. Till next time, may a powerful wizard keep and protect you. Your loyal saucepan, filthy pot. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Like, I can... I truly can sort of grasp the meaning in your words there, and thank you very much. Those are extremely kind words. That you have sent my way. Uh, thank you. And you know what? Like, <laughs> I feel like I've had a few other people say that. Where, you know, due to the, 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 you know, the incredible movement of time. They don't really have time to watch as much of, if any, of my videos. But they still like seeing the uploads and the sub. And there's a sort of uh, a comfort level from that. And I think that's funny. I I guess that's still pretty encouraging. You know, it's like, all right, well, my presence in and of itself is important to some people. And that's a weird responsibility in a weird way. Like, if I ever feel, if it ever feels like I'm being extremely 
Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to describe it. But it's the reason why whenever there's a day where I can't put a video out or whatever, where I'm going to take the time to write about that, it's because of messages like this, where my presence in and of itself is is the source of uh, of comfort like is a source of stability something to lean on a little bit in this chaotic world and uh i guess that deep down i, I kind of take this very strange and very unusual responsibility very seriously <laughs> that is my life and honestly that's that's a pretty good one i think well, thank you for making me weirdly wistful about things here. Slight edit later, because this is the same actual recording, because why wouldn't it be? Steam Things! It's Steam Things Ambush Pending. Ooh, I don't forget me. Wait, we just had a burger game. Today we're getting fry games? Uh, Rao Cow. On the fourth days of Christmas, you received French fries. I don't know. Stream says it doesn't support English. Really? It's a French-only game. So, uh, Fred Medium, Medium Fries. I think you can figure that one out. Fred Medium is a jeu narratif cooperatif à deux joueurs. Fred, un, tenace, un tenancier de fricto et son défunt père, Gaston, un ancien texan. Doivent apprendre à communiquer en brisant la frontière entre le monde des morts et des vivants afin d'élucider le mystère autour de la disparition de G. Uh, tempted translation. Medium Fries is a narrative game, a cooperative two-player narrative game. Fred, uh, Fry, uh, cashier. I, I never heard, saw the word fritco before. I can, I can figure it out. It's like, it's like a food truck. Okay, maybe. It's like a fry, f f uh, like a like, like a French fries food truck. Well, anyway, he's the cashier there, and his uh, d deceased father Gaston, an ancient taxi driver, uh, must learn to communicate by shattering the border between the world of uh, the living and the world of the dead, in order to solve a mystery. Surrounding the disappearance of G. There you go. Live translation. I don't know if it's good, but it's accurate. I think this is it. Je m'appelle Fred. Je suis tenancier de Fritco. Oh yeah, okay. Toujours j'ai une connexion avec la That must be French France. French France and like Quebec France is different. French, whatever. So it's a visual novel. That I guess that maybe I don't know. Maybe not. Qu'est-ce qui t'est arrivé? He's dead. Alright. This looks really silly. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, that accent was pretty good. This would be weird to play for the internet. I mean, I could probably live translate as it happens, but it would be weird. But maybe it'd be fun. This is just, it's always so strange to see a game that, I mean, I, like I'm used to games that do not have any uh, English because like the game's in Japanese or something, but because it's French? Oh, what's this? That doesn't happen very often. Cow Rao, Merry Season, here's a fun take on fighting games. Toodles, buckle up. Star of Rest. Alright, Rest Star, I know who you are. Your only move is Hustle. Master Technique, execute flashy combos and outsmart opponents across the world frame by frame. Frame by frame. Slow down the clock to fine tune your fighting style and the innovative turn based combat simulator. Pulverize your friends and choreograph spectacular fight scenes. No training mode required. Oh, okay. This is not like a fighting game fighting game. Updated trailer. Sounds like that would be it. Alright, so here we see two stickmen. Yeah. What is happening?
Like, yeah, like, so the result is something incredibly hectic. Like, absolutely. But, like, what? This does not tell me how this game works, like, in the slightest. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, man! I mean, like, I guess I would need to, like, open up a guide or something, but, like, that's 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Oh, what is this? Oh, I... Man, that is not... Like, okay, like, you can do something pretty amazing looking, but... How does it work? Like, we saw a little bit of the graphs going on at the bottom of the screen, but I don't, that only says, uh... So much. Only move is hustle. I I ain't gonna see. But here's the thing. I kind of want to look up more. But should that be reserved for some kind of video or something? Or is that something to do in my own time? I am not sure. Zephyr! Hey, it's been a bit. Hey there, dragon. I read your name instead of mine. How did that happen? Hey there, Cal, double comma. I've been enjoying your videos for a long while now, and it's been a while since I've sent a gift, so here's a game that I know is real fun. Enjoy Zephyr Dragonlord. It has been a hot second. Vernal Edge, I feel like I've heard that combination of two words before. Vernal Edge, a 2D action pack Metroidvania featuring an intense combat system, tight platforming sequence room. My hand was in front of my mouth. In a powerful story of rivalry, rivalry, sorry, revenge and growth. Uh, Vernal Edge. Uh, this one. It's the most recent one. Doesn't mean it's the best one. But it's the one that I'm, that is most likely to have, you know, stuff. Okay, so sprite art looks real good. Immediately. So yeah, it's, uh, oh, balloons. Welcome to Balloon World! Uh, so, it has movement. Movement reminds me a bit of, uh, Hollow Knight. A little bit. Oh, we got, we got a little court fight here. With a duel. Okay, okay, memory point. I don't know what that means. I don't have the context for it. Oh, check it out! We're in 3D on a map! <laughs> Bells! Well, we got a map like that. Okay. Okay, saffron. I don't know. I mean, that's a spice, and it's a color. Is it a spice? It's, it's a spice. Uh, those guys are like weird zombie thing. Flame spy. Okay, that's your spells. Check it out. Yeah, screen clear of some kind. Okay, I'm digging what this is putting out. Like, I'm digging this. If you if you were to make a game that's like, hey, here's a cool looking game. Do you want to play it? That would be it. Like, you show me that, and I'm like, no, yeah, no, yeah. That, that looks that looks super rad. Okay, Vernal Edge. That looks fantastic. And, uh, see, it's like different kinds of fantastic. Your only move is Hustle got me intrigued. Uh, Vernal Edge got me like, yeah, no, this I understand. And I understand that it is something I want to get my hands on. Very different feelings on an emotional level, but all as useful. Hey, Amia is back! How you spoony bard! It's it's the thing, it's the quote from the game Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy IV is my favorite game in the series. I could gush over this game so much, but Steam doesn't give enough characters for it. Yeah, I heard that there's a character limit that's pretty stingy. It's the original Final Fantasy IV it comes to life with a completely new graphic and audio. All that charming retro graphic. I mean, Final Fantasy IV, aka Final Fantasy II, if you were 90s kids with a Super Nintendo, is a very well known game that I've never played. I skipped straight to six. It's just, I played one when I was like in, in earlier childhood, and then I skipped right to six. Four? I don't know. I feel like at, at four, I still wasn't really paying attention that much to the world around me. Honestly, I blame Nintendo Power for getting me to play sex. I mean, I say that. I enjoyed my time with it. But yeah, 4 was before that. So it just kind of, I, I just kind of missed it. Uh, I know there's Edge. And I know there's Edward, the Spoonie Bard. 
There's uh, Sid. Sid's the one that says that. Is it? I'm not even sure up to that point. Fusoya, the creator of Lunar Magic, named himself after a character from Final Fantasy IV. I know that. Palrumia slash Rumia is here, has things to say, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Why did I do it like that? Hey there, Aokao! I was not able to participate in the physical admin this year, but I just wanted to say thank you for a very enjoyable year in Let's Plays during a tough time. Best wishes, Palrumia. It's the exit 8. You're traveling the endless underground passageway. Observe your surroundings carefully to reach the exit 8. I don't know what this is, and uh, the blurb is very vague. All right, well, this is very obviously a trailer. Okay, so you walk. I mean, frame rate is really good, but I think this is like film, though. I don't know if it's like the game. I think it's the game. So we walk in. Oh, see, it's exit eight eight because it's the infinity symbol. Put on its side, you see? It's, it's a little it's a little bit of a symbol going on here. Mmm. You're just you're just walking like that, huh? Okay, so you're stuck in the loop. Get out of it, idiot. Okay. With a smile. Now open! I mean that's unrelated. Yeah, that's the same guy. Hey buddy. He doesn't care. Query camera in operation. Eyeballs! I'm just making a let's play of this video. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go right and smash the wall. That's how I'd interpret that. No, this is a pretty good, uh, like if I did not read the blurb beforehand. Oh, he's going fast. Like, that would be a great introduction to the concept here, that I just kind of spoiled for myself by reading the description. Okay, I have no idea how that would work in the game, but considering here there seems to be, a, like, background men, and here there's a, a little bit of a... a little bit of a meat problem going on on the floor. Okay, so there's a video game here. Hey, if we ever want to get me to play some horror... That's a way we can get going. I still wonder how horror would work. Uh, there's been a few chances to vote for horror games on the on a spot zone in the past. N never wins for whatever reason. It's fine. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. Doesn't mean the interest isn't there. But thank you, Palrumia, Amia, uh, Sajur, uh, Zephyr. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I know I miss Restar. Thank you, everyone. Sending me the kind words uh, with a video game attached to them. Uh, I appreciate it. I love it. Uh, thank you. And uh, again, like, y y none of you had to do this. This is all something you just kind of chose. And that so many people every year choose to do something like this. Even if it can be a relatively small gesture. Like, it adds up. And it adds up over the years. <laughs> and I... I <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it gets a little overwhelming, but like in a good way. And uh, the Athens just started. Like normally would be, I feel like we'd be going on on on, on the end of it, right? On on a regular year, but this year it's just started, and uh, it's a lot. I don't know. I I feel like I'm just babbling. I'm not saying anything really interesting at this point. I'm just gonna cut the video.